Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to troubleshoot what happened to a Dell computer that when you turn it on and it shows hard drive not install. If you're getting this warning message, then more likely it could be a bad operating system. The OS was erased or for whatever reason, or maybe that the hard drive went bad. All right, let's go ahead and press and hold the power button to shut it off. We're going to take a look at it. This is the Dell XPX. And we're going to get the, the port screwdriver. I'll be using a T5. I'm going to remove all the screws to get into the computer. Four at the bottom, two on the side, and then two on the top. Once you have removed all the screws, the next step, let's go ahead and pry it open. I like to uh, get the corner. When you work with the corner, it's a lot easier to get in between that cover. So let's go ahead and... Okay, once you have a good grip of the plastic cover, use a plastic prying tool to run across the, the cover and then the pop right off the entire back plate. Okay, once you have removed the back plate, you can see the internal part of your laptop. Pretty much we like to first thing to identify would be the SSD here. But before we do that, if you want to disconnect the battery, you should by pulling the cable down towards yourself. So pulling it this direction to disconnect the battery. And I like to pull and push at the same time. Okay, push and pull at the same time. The next is to go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. You see this little cable here? It is still attached to the bracket. You need to unload it. And there you go. I'm just going to turn this thing on the side. And that would be the SSD. All right, so this SSD here is 256. You can see that it says 256 gigabyte. Uh, it's a mini version of the SSD. What it does is you kind of slide it in like such, and then it goes in to the computer. Okay, so let me get a replacement of this SSD here. For my case, I have two types of SSD. One is the mini version, which is the same as this. Or oh, majority of you guys would prefer to use the full SSD, which is this one. And you can still install it like such, okay? All you have to do is to find the right screw and put it in. So I think the same screw that we removed earlier should be able to tighten it up and get you installed. All right, I have the hard drive installed, which is ready to go. Now, do I need to install the bracket? The answer is not really, because this bracket is meant to be the smaller version of the SSD. Um, you do not want to have the metal touching onto the internal part of the SSD. So do not need this, kind of put it away. Um, but if you want to disperse the heat, you can get the thermal pad. Uh, they do sell thermal pad on Amazon, get it and stick it on top. Then you can easily disperse the heat if you want that. Okay, so let me kind of put this on the side and uh, go ahead and reinstall the battery connector. All you have to do is just slide it back in and push it all the way. Making sure that the connector reaches the end of that connector at the very top. Okay, 
make sure this thing reach all the way to the back. Once you have done with that process, let's go ahead and put everything back together. Like such. And all the screws back together, okay? Now, if you're going to ask, like, oh, is my computer going to work after I install the new hard drive? The answer is no. With the new hard drive, it doesn't have the Windows install, meaning that you do not have Windows 10 or Windows 11 to operate. Therefore, the computer would not turn on. Now, what, what you should do is you should buy the, uh, the Windows installer or you can create your own USB uh, Windows installer. If you want to do it, you can grab it from Microsoft website. You can go directly to Microsoft.com. I'll kind of look it up to download Windows 11 OEM USB installer. You can download, make your own, um, look it up on Google on how to do that. But if you do not know how to do it and uh, you just want to buy the U USB installer, you can just go ahead and get one from Amazon. The USB installer the USB installer should look something like this. Okay, so the USB installer should look something like this where you can, uh, uh, it comes with the license key. So it's a USB thing that you can plug it in and start installing the Windows. Okay, so let's, if you turn it on, um, you should be able to boot into the USB installer and with the USB installer, uh, finish up the installation of the windows all right so we just change out the, uh, the um what do you call it? we just change out the hard drive and that is the process i wanted to show it to you uh, but if you want to further regarding about the um, installation i probably continue with the wind i'm going to stop the video here i'm going to make a separate video on how to do windows 10 installation all right thanks for watching and uh until next time Oh yeah, if you're not sure where to buy the tools and the uh, hard drive, check the link down description below. I'll, I'll link it where you can go to Amazon and get them. Thanks for watching. Bye now.